With Naruto stuck in the Daikokuten and Sasuke being branded a rogue shinobi once more, the Leaf Village has lost a lot of strength. Just Naruto and Sasuke alone are capable of soloing nations, so losing them really hurts the Leaf. And on top of this, the threats faced by the Leaf Village are as powerful as ever. So how can the Leaf Village hope to compete with these god-level threats? Well, for starters, there are plenty of able-bodied shinobi from OG Naruto and Shippuden who've been swiped aside in favor of the new generation. But in this era of chaos, without Naruto and Sasuke, maybe it's time to introduce some characters back into the story. For starters, we have the most underrated shinobi in the Leaf Village right now, Orochimaru. Since OG Naruto, he's had the deepest bag with countless forbidden jutsu. And ever since the fourth great ninja war, he's turned over a new leaf and helps the village. For nearly 20 years, Orochimaru has been researching in a facility monitored by Konoha. We know what Orochimaru has discovered in the past, like immortality. He's even created sentient life forms like Mitsuki. What else has he discovered in those 20 years since the fourth great ninja war? What new jutsu has he learned? Any forbidden jutsu? Or has he been studying the Otsutsukis? The possibilities with Orochimaru are endless. He could definitely help the village if a serious threat were to emerge, and he's the most likely out of anybody to have some random new jutsu that we don't know about that makes him popular and relevant in the story again. Next up we have Rock Lee. Lee has been an afterthought ever since Shippuden, let alone Boruto. As of right now, he's just disappeared. But in this day and age, with Otsutsukis and karma markings absorbing all ninjutsu, Taijutsu is more valuable than ever. It almost seems perfect for Lee to come back and defend the village. I could even see him defend the village from code or whichever next big threat attacks by using his Taijutsu skills. I could see Lee going all out to defend the village and tapping into the 8th gate. While I want him to stay alive, tell me it wouldn't be awesome to see Lee going out in a blaze of glory in the 8th gate to save Konoha. There could even be some parallels between Lee and Mike Guy that can make for an awesome scene. And it'd be such a great send-off for such a popular character because I don't see him getting reintroduced and staying in the story for the long run. We're already focusing on the next generation, so just give Rock Lee his moment to shine and I'll be happy. Next, we have someone who really could have been the Hokage instead of Shikamaru, and that's Kakashi. Making Kakashi return as the Hokage could be a great way to insert him back into the story, but as we know, Shikamaru has taken the seat of the 8th Hokage. Kakashi probably couldn't do much against Otsutsukis or Kama markings, but he does know a thousand jutsu, and now that he doesn't have the Sharingan, his chakra lasts much longer, so he could actually use more jutsu and end all the memes. The only way he can become a huge asset to the village is if he learns some sort of crazy jutsu back in the day with the Sharingan, that he can use now because he has access to more chakra. He has potential because at least one out of the thousand jutsu he knows has to be useful somehow. Like surely one of them will be good, right? But hey, who knows? Maybe they're all useless against Otsutsukis and karma markings, but it'd be cool to see our boy Kakashi back into the story. But yeah, those three characters are at the top of my wish list for OG Naruto or Shippuden characters to come back into the Boruto story. I will say though, it's not very realistic. Like, let's look at someone like Rock Lee, for example. He didn't do much in Shippuden, and now I want him to play a big role in a series centered around the next generation. He didn't even get time to shine in his own generation. So I understand that these characters returning to the story in a big way is pretty unrealistic, but I would love to see it. I will say the most realistic character that I named to return to the Boruto story is Kakashi. I don't think he'd return in a big way, but... Let's say Code attacked the village, we could probably see Kakashi versus Code because Naruto's gone, Sasuke's gone. Just like how we saw Kakashi versus Pain, it wasn't like a multiple episode fight or anything, but it could still be a really great fight between Kakashi and Code or whoever infiltrates and attacks the village. And for Orochimaru, I see it as very unlikely, but he is the character that I would want to see back the most. There's always just so much potential with Orochimaru. He's always researching, figuring out new jutsus, forbidden jutsus. Or again, another good way to tie him into the current story is have him is say that for the past 20 years, he's been studying the Otsutsukis ever since Kaguya attacked. And now he knows how to counter Otsutsuki abilities or something like that. There's just a lot of ways to bring Orochimaru back into the Boruto story, but I personally don't think that it's very likely. But let me know what y'all think. If you could choose one character to return to the Boruto story from OG Naruto or Shippuden, who would it be? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see y'all in the next video.